This slide shows a block diagram merging the life cycle of both the medical devices and the hospital. We'll start by describing the medical device's life cycle. The first phase is the design phase, which resembles the birth of the medical device, where all of, it, of its specifications are planned. Then comes the factory phase, where the design is carried out according to the regulatory bodies such as FDA and CE, and standards organizations such as IEC and ASTM quality requirements. Then the medical device is sold to one or more supplier where they are sold to healthcare providers. In this case, the main healthcare provider is the hospital. Moving on to the hospital's life cycle. The first phase is the design phase. The clinical engineer participates in the feasibility study where he determines the break-even point, which is the point in time where the owner will recover their investment and start making a profit. In this phase, the clinical engineer also provides estimate and maintenance cost of med medical equipment. The second phase is the construction phase, with the clinical engineer participates in the medical planning process which is determining the adjacencies of departments, the sizes of rooms, and the types of rooms needed. The, there, the clinical engineer suggests medical equipment list per room and their needed utilities, such as drainage and water supply. The final phase is the operation and maintenance phase. This is where the clinical engineer shines. The operation of the hospital may extend to decades, where medical equipment and devices will be coming and going. New, new equipment will need to be installed and old equipment will be thrown out. The clinical engineer maintains, calibrates and fixes the medical equipment to keep the hospital running. The healthcare delivery system الستيكولدرز والهيلث كير بروفايدرز الستيكولدرز هم مينلي الناس المستفيدة من السيستم نفسه أول حد عندي هو البيشنت البيشنت هو المستفيد الأساسي من السيستم هو اللي السيستم كله قايم عليه برضو من ضمن الستيكولدرز اللي مرتبطة بالبيشنت هم الفاميلي ممبر بتوع البيشنت بعدين عندي الفارماسيوتيكال فيرمز وهي الشركات اللي بتصنع الأدوية عندي الانشورنس كومباني شركات التأمين الماديكال ديفايس مانيفاكتشررز وهي الشركات اللي بتصنع الاجهزه الطبيه وتبيعها واخيرا عندي الجفرمنت بعد كده عندي الهيلث كير بروفايدر الهيلث كير بروفايدر اول حاجه عندي فيه الستاف الستاف بيتقسم لجزئين الماديكال ستاف والنان ماديكال ستاف او التكنيك او النان تكنيكال ستاف الماديكال ستاف هو الدكتورز والنيرسز والفيزيشنز واي حاجه اي حد مرتبط بالجزء الميديكال النان تكنيكال ستاف زي الادمنستريشن زي السبورت سيرفيسز زي الاي تي زي الانجينيرز زي عمال النظافه كل دول اللي هو المستشفى مش هتقوم من غيرهم بس هم في نفس الوقت هم مش ميديكال بعدين تاني حاجة عندي الـ Accreditation Organization الـ Accreditation Organization هي Organizations بتشك الـ Performance بتاع الـ Hospitals وتمونيتر الـ Performance ده وعلى أساسه بتدي Accreditation للـ للمستشفى إن هي كده تمام يعني هي ماشية على الـ Standards وماشية الدنيا مظبوط عندي من الـ Accreditation Organizations دي عندي الـ TGC أو The Joint Commission The Joint Commission بعدين آخر حاجة عندي هي ال regulatory organization ال regulatory organization عامل زي ال accreditation organization شوية بس الفكرة ان هي بت monitor ال medical device هي بت monitor ال medical device وبت approve it لو هو مطابق للمواصفات وقتها بتديله certificate عندي من ضمن ال certificates اللي هي بتديها هي ال FDA mark او ال CE mark As for this section, we'll be discussing the different hospital departments and a brief definition on each one. And we'll be discussing the 12 on the screen. First off, we have the emergency room, also known as the ER. And it's the department where patients can get immediate care for an emergency. 
and they can just come in without a prior appointment or anything and they do provide initial treatment for a broad spectrum of illnesses and diseases due to not knowing the nature of the injury beforehand so the so the doctors and the hospital itself must be prepared for that variety of issues that they can face then we have the cardiology and it's the department that deals with everything related to the heart from diseases disorders and general pro problems or problems related to circulation then we have the ICU, the intensive care unit, where they admit patients that need constant care and close supervision from either life support equipment or medication in order to ensure that their condition is as stable as it can be. Once they're stabilized, they're moved from the ER. Then we have the neurology, which is the department that deals with everything related to the nervous system either it's nerves or muscles or other things related to the nervous system. Next department is oncology that directly deals with finding a diagnosis or prevention or treatment of cancer. Next up is the obstetrics gynecology department and it's a medical department that caters directly to women. The obstetrics department covers pregnancy, childbirth, and postpartum period. The postpartum period is the period that comes after childbirth. And gynecology, that covers the health of the female reproductive system as a whole, whether it concerns the vagina, uterus, ovaries, and breasts. It's commonly abbreviated as ob -GYN. The radiology department is the department that uses medical imaging to diagnose and treat certain diseases and illnesses. Examples of radiology machines are x-rays, CT, PET, fluoroscopy, and MRIs. Next up, we have the surgery department, which is just a department for general surgery that deals with different types of diseases and illnesses. The pathology and laboratory department where a hospital conducts all its tests and research for, for certain patients and certain cases in hospital. The neonatal intensive care unit, also known as the NICU, is an intensive care nursery or an ICU directly for small newborns. A pharmacy is the section that deals with drugs and medication at the hospital, whether it be that a patient needed a certain medication on their way out and it wasn't something and they weren't admitted to the hospital, they can get it from the hospital pharmacy. Last but not least, we have the nursing department which consists of all the nurses throughout certain hospital. Question 5. A. Medical equipment design is a possible role of the clinical engineer. False. This statement is false, as clinical engineering is that career which is considered with technical services, associated with medical devices, with the exception of design. The clinical engineer may be required to plan, manage, maintain, repair, install, calibrate, or adapt a medical device. To sum it up, clinical engineering is concerned and responsible for the safe and effective performance of medical devices in the healthcare delivery complex. B. Medical equipment planning takes place in the hospital construction life cycle. False. As medical equipment planning takes place in the hospital design life cycle. In this stage, the main contribution of the clinical engineer is to provide estimates for the cost of the equipment and the subsequent maintenance costs 
for the life of the equipment. In the design phase, the clinical engineer can participate in the so-called feasibility study, which is a financial exercise aiming to guide the investor or the owner as to when they will recover their investment and start to make profit and how much profit is expected to be made. C. Calibration of medical equipment is part of the operation and maintenance phase of a hospital. True. The statement is true, as when the construction is over and equipment is placed in the allocated spaces, the hospital is ready for operation, i.e. receiving patients and providing medical services to them. It's in this phase that classical clinical engineering comes to play. In the operation phase of the hospital, which may extend to decades, medical equipment come and go. New equipment is installed, and old equipment is retired, and all equipment in between is maintained, calibrated, and fixed if they undergo any failure. D. Hospital performance is checked and assessed by accreditation organizations, such as the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, and the CE mark while medical device manufacturers are monitored and approved by regulatory organizations such as the Joint Commission, TJC. False. This statement is false, as there are organizations whose rule is to ensure the quality of performance. Therefore, hospital performance is checked and assessed by accreditation organizations such as the Joint Commission, the TJC, while medical device manufacturers are monitored and approved by regulatory organizations such as the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, and the Clinical Engineering Mark. E. Municipal, General, or District Hospitals are considered primary care facilities. False. This statement is false, as the current healthcare delivery system has four levels of care depending on the seriousness of the disease. The lowest level is called primary care. If the health problem is not solved at the primary care level, the patient is referred to a specialist in a higher level of care, known as secondary care. Municipal, general, or district hospital are other name for secondary care facilities. Secondary level hospitals usually serve the population of a certain district or a city, in contrast to primary care units, which serve quarters or villages. A concept that is essential in understanding the topography of any healthcare system in the world is to classify the organizations in that system into three main levels. Those levels should correspond to the levels of care that a certain unique patient needs. First is the primary care or what we call in Egypt the family health care units. Those units involve common health problems like sore throats, diabetes, and hypertension, and preventive measures like the vaccinations or the mammogram. And these account for 80% to 90% visits to a physician or any other caregiver. Secondary and tertiary cares involve problems that require more specialized clinical experience. Such hospital cares are the target for a patient with acute renal failure, for example. Then comes the apex of our healthcare system in Egypt 
Which are the university hospitals? Those hospitals are for very complex cases that involve the management of rare disorders such as congenital malformations or pituitary tumors. The district hospitals are 100 to 200 bed hospitals that provide more specialized medical services and they are available in every district. Those district hospitals are responsible for serving a catchment population of between 50,000 to 100,000 people in the urban district area. On the other side, the general hospitals contain more than 200 beds and contain all medical specialties. General hospitals are available in every capital of a governorate. The primary or the family health care units in Egypt are around 5,000 health facilities as mentioned before. Those units have more than 80,000 beds spread nationwide. There are no formal referral systems in the Ministry of Health in Egypt, but the service delivery units are organized along a number of different dimensions. These include geographic, like the rural and the urban, structural, like health units, health centers and hospitals, they can be functional as maternal child health centers or they can be programmatic such as immunization and diarrheal disease control. هنلاقي ان الديتيلد ديجرام ده بيتكلم على البلاننج والبروكيورمنت بروسس فور ميديكال اكوبمنت او اللي هو عمليه شراء وتصميم الاجهزه الطبيه هيتكلم بشكل مفصل من البداية خالص من تصميم المستشفى وبعدين بنبدأ نختار الجهاز بناء على ايه وبعدين لو توافق عليه هنبدأ نشتريه مراحل شراءه ازاي وهكذا لما نيجي نبص على الديتيل ده ديجرام اللي فات ونقارنه بالكونسبت اللي خدناه في الليكتشر هنلاقيه بيتقسم لنصين النص الاولاني منه او اللي هي البلوكس من 1 ل 8 هنلاقيها بتتكلم على الميديكال اكوبمنت بلاننج وده هنلاقيه في الليكتشر في الديزاين بروسس في الهوسبيتال لايف سايكل ممكن هو بيتكلم زياده شويه عن جزئيه ما اتذكرتش في الليكتشر اللي هي الفاينانشال ريفيو لما نيجي بقى نبص للجزء الثاني من الدايجرام هنلاقيه بيتكلم على اللي هي السيلز بروسس اللي موجوده في الميديكال ديفايس لايف سايكل والستيك هولدرز اللي موجودين جواها ومين هم الستيك هولدرز دول بقى بيتكلم عليهم بشكل تفصيل هم اللي هم السبلايرز والايجنتس والديستريبيوترز وكمان مدي مثال على الديستريبيوترز زي الاتش اس جي ده الجزء الاول من الديتيلد دايجرام اللي قلنا بيتكلم على الميديكال اكوبمنت بلاننج اللي بيبقى دوره مهم جدا في الجزء ده بيبقى الكلينيكال انجينير ليه لان هو اصلا بيشارك في الديزاين بروسس بتاعه المستشفى فبيبدا يشوف الديبارتمنتس بيبدا يشوف الروم تايبس يبدا يشوف السايز اوف رومز والهوسبيتال ستاندردز اللي بناء عليها يختار الجهاز بعدين بيحصل فاينانشال ريفيو ويشوفوا ان الجهاز ده مناسب للبادجت ولا لا بعدين بنشوف الاكسسوارز والموديل ونشوف اليوتيليتيز بتاعه الجهاز ده وبعدين في الاخر خالص بيحصل كلينيكال فاينل ريفيو يشوفوا هيتوافق على الجهاز ده ولا لا